I'm not late. Your clock is early. <laughs> Once upon a time when I used to have an Android cell phone, I noticed that I was always late to certain people. And these certain people were people who had iPhones. It turned out that iPhones were five minutes ahead of my phone. Maybe the iPhones were more accurate. Or maybe it was Steve Jobs' way of saying, Hey, you watch out. Me and my peoples, we're from the future. And you are so last five minutes ago. And five minutes ago is like so last year. They're all in the past. Okay, aside from the technical aspect of this championism, while the world operates on a set clock schedule, People operate at their own pace. Sure, a big chunk of the population may work from 9 to 5, and students go to school from like 8 to 2. Everywhere around the world, a certain genre of people have a certain type of schedule that they share. However, after their set schedules, they own their time and they function at their own pace. And with that free time, they could do whatever they want. They could advance their party skills, or they could advance their cooking skills, or they could advance their reading skills, whatever. Some people are super fast at everything they do, though they're not consistently delivering quality, but they do get things done efficiently. Other people operate at a very chill pace. They might not necessarily get everything done, but the things that they do get done, they may be done with quality, but not always. What happens when you mix these two opposites together? The fast one tells a chill one, you're always late and slow. The chill one tells a fast one, you're always too fast and too early. You gotta chill out. Work faster, chill less. You gotta chill out. No, work faster, chill less. Whoa, bro, chill out. Okay, so what's better, being chill or being fast? Both are better and worse. Every personality trait has their strengths and weaknesses and are perfect for a particular type of situation. So instead of trying to change people to fit your schedule because that's not always going to happen, enjoy the other person's schedule while you can. So the next time you're like, oh my god, my friend is too fast and too early, why don't you soak up their super fast powers? Observe these fast people. How are they so fast? Pick up on their habits. But what if your friend is super slow and late? You know what, fast person? It's your time to breathe and enjoy the fresh air. In any situation you're placed in, you can make the best of it. Instead of being like, oh my god, they're late again, or oh my god, they're fast again. Tell yourself, that's awesome, they're fast. I'll pick up on their habits. Or wow, that's awesome, they're late again. I'm gonna enjoy this free time. Besides, it'd be kind of boring if the whole world was filled with the same type of people. If everyone was the same as you, that would be boring. You gotta have a balance. And you gotta have diversity. Diversity will lead you to a wide range of experiences and help you develop a more tolerant nature. The more types of people you meet and the more you talk to them and the more you get to know them, you become more tolerant. It's refreshing to see how other people think and view things. Enjoy every person for who they are.